Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I thought I'd do a what did I get. I've got a few things that I've accumulated, so I thought I'd share them with you before I kind of put them away. So first of all, I picked up these really, really cute little mini crackers. So I picked these up from Chaplin's. It's just a local bit of a hardware, kind of like arts and crafts, just does everything really. It's a kind of cheap and cheerful place and um, they were 4 dollars you get eight, but I'm gonna, you know, I wanna collect these bits now because I'm gonna be starting to think about my Christmas makes and I just thought they were really cute as a little, kind of maybe just to stick on the front of maybe a gift box or a gift bag, you could have them hanging down. They do have little gifts in them. They're just those they're tiny little charms, you know, just something cheap and cheerful again. But, and I just thought they'd look nice. Maybe if you're gonna make a wreath, a big, you know, door wreath, you could have these all stuck on there as well. So if you see these little things, they're really handy and um, they're just nice little fillers. So I picked those up. Whilst I was also in Chapman's, I picked up these. It's just um, Halloween 20 gift bags. Obviously, with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, I'm not sure how many trick or treaters will be out and about. If they're even going to be really be, if they're even going to really be doing it, because you know who's going to want to really take things from someone else's house. So I don't really know what I'm kind of going to do with my Halloween stuff this year. But I'm going to do some of these for family, and. Um, have a few kind of treats at the door if anybody does knock I mean we'll have it all kind of cleaned I'll go to my mum and dad's because they always get loads of well they have done in the past had loads of people knock on the door for trick or treat and it's so nice but yeah I just don't really know how that's going to go and if it's really it's not really a wise thing to do is it let's face it we need to be socially distancing and and so on but you never know, there might be ways around it. We might put something maybe outside the door with a little um, hand sanitizer next to it or something. Um, I'm sure there's still ways that we could do something, but I've got them. I'm gonna, you know, do some little things for family anyway, and we'll see how it goes. So that was those. I also just picked up some more of these, which is the five by seven cello bags. These were 229. It's that Craft UK brand. Um, you can pick these up online as well. Lots of the, you know, craft online craft stores have them. And then I had some bits and, oh, actually, yeah, I got this as well. This was in a charity shop, it was 20p, and it's an adhesive rubber. I mean, I'll show you my one. That's my one there, it's not too bad. I just pick all these bits off when it kind of builds up, but I mean, that will still last for, for ages. But I saw it there and I thought for 20p, so I'm gonna keep it in the packaging, because I don't know, I don't think they do dry out, they just stay rubbery. I mean, mine's still very, very soft. I imagine if it's kept near sunlight and stuff like that, it would dry out, but um, I thought for 20p, I'm gonna grab it. Then I got a few bits and pieces from Craft Stash. So I mentioned these, I've had these now for about two weeks. And um, I love the Card Making Magic verses. So these are perfect for outside the card, but mainly for inside your card. So, you know, I know lots of people print off their inserts um, and have them kind of all cut and ready to kind of put in the cards. I, to me, I just can't even be bothered to do that, to be quite frank. So I like to just quickly have a stamp and um, you just get so many here. So I already have three of the other verses and you see me probably use them in most tutorials and if not I do stamp them after I've made the card but this one here is your Christmas verses and this is the birthday verses these are the two newest ones there is another one as well I can't remember the, there must have been a reason I didn't get it I, I don't know if I was too keen on the verses or I didn't think I was going to use them as much but you can see I've already used this one here so it says wishing you a day of happy moments and a year of happy days but I love this one here at least you are not as old as you will be this time next year you got hope you have a delightful day and a year full of joy and love Here's hoping your birthday is full of delightful surprises. Then you have all of us from me, everyone, your happy birthday on its own there, with love on its own, and a few other ones. So just they're just so handy. So I picked up that one, and then also this one here, which is obviously Christmas based, but you do have scent with love. You've got Happy New Year, which is obviously handy. You don't need tons of those. Um, I only probably send out maybe a handful of New Year cards. Season's greetings. These ones are nice, wishing you sparkle, wishing you cheer for a bright and cozy Christmas and a peaceful new year. From our home to yours at this special time, I mean that you can use, you know, for, for a multiple of occasions really. Thinking of you at this special time of year, again that one, it could be a special anniversary, you know, it could be a, another, you know, kind of moment in time that you um, acknowledge. And then you have, have yourself a very Merry Christmas. I'm getting all my words mumbled up there, but anyway, you get the idea. I think that's pretty much all of them on there. Really handy and just something that I use a lot. I also picked up these, they were dead cheap and you get 400 and they are your stamen detail. And I want them to put inside the centers of my paper flowers when I make them. You can see them all there, Crafter's Companion. 
and you can colour them too, that's why I got the white ones so I can just you know make them match anything I need. Then I picked up these ribbons here, so I've got the purples and these kind of teal blue colours. They were just ones that I didn't really have and um, they're just a nice quality again from Craft Stash. Pretty inexpensive, you get quite a lot on there, I can't remember how many it said you get, it's not listed on here, it just says assorted colours. Some of those blues are quite nice for Christmas cards as well, so I picked up those two. Then I also picked up some card stocks to match. So I have, this one here is the adorable scorable. You would have seen if you watched me do the launch for the Terrific Towers. This was the one that I'd done the six by six in. So it's the Tranquil Turquoise by um, Hunky Dory. Really, really nice card stock. The 3D makes, I just love that color. Then I picked up this glitter, it's gorgeous. This is the Tonic Nebula Purple. A4, 250 GSM, you get five sheets there. Uh, single sided, low shed, acid and lingam free. I don't have this kind of deep purple colour, it's so nice. So I've got that one which is electric purple, again that's the tonic, 250 GSM, high gloss mirror card, acid and lingam free. And I've got this another adorable scorable royal purple. And then I've got this one which is gorgeous. This is 220 GSM, so it's a great card weight size and you can still use it with your 3D makes. But it's the Wisteria, it's such a nice, really soft lilac color. And it's the A4 size and that's uh, Creative Expressions. That one is used, they put as used by Sue Wilson. Just some nice ones and that one you get 20. So I mean they do vary in quantity, so I've got 20 in that one. I think this one is 10. These ones you get a five. And then again, that's another adorable scorable, um, which I think is 10. So yeah, just some card stocks there and just some kind of different colours, but they're going to work really nice for Christmas snow scenes and things like that as well. So I'm just kind of, you know, stocking up where I need to. And then I also, in the charity shop, picked up these jars. Whenever I see them, I grab them. These were 20p each, so they only had the four. I've given them a clean and I've just put some of my embellishments in them. And I have them on my Ikea pegboard and I have quite a few now. Some of the sizes vary, but this was the other lot that I brought from the same charity shop. You see, they're the same size jars. And I just love that I have these right in front of me. So when I just want to add little extras onto cards, or if I think I'm going to do a shaker card, I've got some Christmas bits there, little baubles. Um, these are my little water droplets. And I have some little stars and little angels. They're those recent Christmas wooden embellishments that I shared in another, what did I get? Um, I've got snowflakes. Actually, what I'm going to do is probably sort them so I have all my Christmas on one and then kind of other, you know, occasions and colours and stuff on different ones. I've got these gorgeous, um, lovely, like, faceted gemstones there. And then that's another one that I've got, for example. These ones are taller. There's a couple of different ones you can see there, how they differ in size, but you can see, again, all the sequins and stuff on them. And then I do my shaker cards, and I've also got things like... These were the paper discovery. I sorted them out so I had the shells in one and the fish in the other. Um, and then I've got, yeah, things like this, little Christmas pom-poms. So again, I need to kind of yeah, get all the Christmas stuff together. Um, these ones here with all these like little sequin bits in there. Um, so they're just really handy. I really like them. They fit nicely in these trays. Again, they go on my pegboard and I just like having them all in front of me. So I grabbed those when I saw them. And then lastly, I've got some magazines. So I have the latest issue of Simply Cards and Papercraft. Um, and it was again a very pleasant surprise to see my card on the front and I am so so pleased. It's a gorgeous freebie, I really did love this one. I, I enjoy most of them to be fair because it's just always something a bit different. But this embossing folder with the Christmas tree and then you have the decorations here, the little dies and stuff and then you have this stamp set. So that was just one example there where I've created a diorama card and then you also get these papers and you've got ones with like the scenes in the background. You've got this one here, so you can have the Christmas tree. You've got snowflakes. You've got this one here. Really nice, so I'll show you the other makes. Again, I never really show too much because I always like it to be a surprise, but I do like to show the free gift because I think sometimes when they're in these packagings like this, it's in the supermarket and you can't open it, it's really hard to kind of sometimes see exactly what you get. So that's why I always like to show you the magazines and lots of you have said that it's really helpful in helping you choose whether or not you want to get it. So I'm just gonna show, I think they were near the front. Yeah, here we go, so I've done so you always get loads of inspiration. It's a really thick magazine. 
but I've done seven in total. So here's some of them here. So I've done this kind of um, silhouette effect. So I've done a bit, a little bit of masking. That's using the embossing folder and then the presents along the bottom. That's the main card on the front, which was that diorama. And I just cut lots of the trees here. This one, this is that stamp. And then I've done this bridge fold and I just used the papers as the main kind of focus on that one. And then I've done this lovely easel card with the vellum embossed Christmas tree. And then there's actually a tea light inside there show you how to make that one and then the other one that I done was oh yeah I done the triple cube so just a nice way to show there again it shows the papers really well and then I done this one here which is a box is it a shadow box I can't remember what I called that one it was a shadow box I think and I've just done a little bit of the embossed tree there and then used one of the papers again with that scene to kind of build that card so it was a really nice one you, again I always like to show a real kind of mix of cards so there's something there for hopefully everyone's tastes and um, you can see how you can use your free free gift so that was the issue 209 of simply cards and papercraft okay and then I have here issue 190 of papercraft essentials and with this one you get this free you get 112 elements and it's the Highland collection and it's perfect for those masculine makes so it, you get this gloss paper with all the papers at the back there sorry it's yeah gloss papers at the back of the pad and then you start to come into all of these kind of um, pop out pieces here so you've got these pages where everything kind of sits together um, you've got two yeah you get two of each there so you've got the pheasants then you've got that highland cow or bull um, you've got the hare and you have the fox and then you have the stag or the deer there as well so it's a really nice one great colours perfect autumnal colours as well one of the contributors there has done a pencil pot um, that's my card there actually I just realized and then you've got some more makes along the bottom here and again I'll just show you and here's the ones I've done so you can actually see that pen pot was done by Vanessa and she's also done like a post-it note cover and then I've just done some different card shapes so you've got a center pop out I think that one was I've done an easel like a Z fold or an M fold this one was nice there's actually acetate behind there I just built up that scene. That was a really big 8x8 one, just showing all the different layers. I think that was it. Oh, and there's some stuff there from uh, Jeanette, some Christmas makes. Because I haven't um, had a good look through this yet. So, yeah, that's what you get with that one. So, for again, those people, because it, it all comes in this case here, so it's really hard to really see what's inside. So, hopefully, by me flicking through that, you were able to get a better, you know, a better idea, really. So, that is everything. Okay, so as always, I'll link as much of the product here and um, below in the description box as I can. And uh, yeah, I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.